Hey guys, welcome back. I'm feeling so much better than I was on Monday. Thank you guys for the prayers and positive thoughts and um, positive comments you left. You guys are the best. But I'm feeling a lot better. I would say 99.9% .9 normal. So, we're getting back to Star Wars. Today I'm looking at an article called Star Wars Fan Reimagines Characters as Pokemon. Now this is sort of an older article, this is from way back in January, but someone shared it on Facebook, oh, maybe last week, and I saw that and I'm like, okay, I have to look at this. So this is sort of like a reaction video, but not totally. So, so the artist who has drawn this is called Rye Spirit. So, let's look at these. First off, R2-D2. <laughs> Number 124, R1-D1. Type Steel Electric. R1-D1 often gets mistaken as a trash can and he doesn't like that. He would zap anyone who disrespects him. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. 125 R2D2 type steel electric. An extremely an extremely well put together droid. R2D2 would zap anyone who gets in his way. <laughs> That's pretty silly. It looks like a, a mech tank or something like that. Number 126 R3D3 type steel electric. R3D3 is a war machine. No one would dare start anything with this bad boy. <laughs> It seriously looks like R2-D2 riding in a mech tank. Oh, cute. Alright. C-3PO. This is, the first one's kind of wrong. Type Steel Fairy. Okay. C-3PO is a cute young protocol droid who cannot quite control his mechanical bladder. That's messed up. 128 C-3PO. Steel Fairy. C-3PO is a protocol droid that is, can assist in etiquette, customs, and translation, often boasting that he is fluent in over six million forms of communication. <laughs> okay, that one's funny. 129, C-3P old. C-3P old is the greatest. He is full of wisdom and experience, though his bladder problem has returned to haunt him. <laughs> oh no! That is so wrong! Oh, man. Oh, wow. This is so funny. Okay. Here's the Chewbacca version. 130. Nibblebacca. Type normal fighting. It looks like a little puppy dog. Nibblebacca is a young and strong male Wookiee pup. He has yet to learn to stand on two legs. <laughs> of course, 131. Chewbacca. Known for, known for his great strength, bravery, and loyalty, Chewbacca would show no qualms about using violence as a means to achieve his goals. Oh wow, he's all gray-haired and everything. <laughs> 132. Munchbacca. Known for his quick fire and accuracy with his newly modified Bowcaster 2000, Munchbacca can take down a TIE fighter from really far, far away. <laughs> yeah. That is so cute. 133. Yo-Yo. Type Psychic. Of course. That one's kind of cute. Yo-Yo is an optimistic and playful child who loves using his force for fun. <laughs> of course, 134, Yoda. Yoda is a force-sensitive Jedi Master who is small in stature but revered for his wisdom and power. <laughs> oh my goodness. That one just looks weird. 135. Baba Yoda. Type Psychic Dark. Oh dear. Baba Yoda has given up all hope. He now resides alone deep in the forest in a hut standing on chicken legs like Baba Yaga. Okay, I get it. He would attack anyone who comes near him. Oh, man. BB-8. <laughs> 136 B-4. Type Steel Fire. B-4 likes to hover around and whistle the Star Wars theme song. It's basically just his head. 137, BB-8, Steel Fire. BB-8 is a courageous and a playful droid who likes to roll around for fun. <laughs> Flicks his dick. <laughs> just looks crazy. 138, Big Boy. 
Big Boy is a massive droid who can rip a TIE fighter apart and melt it with his flaming hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dio. Okay, they did something for Dio. <laughs> 139. Pinto. Type Steel. Pinto is often depressed, being mocked for its small head constantly by other droids. Aww. All right, 140, Dio. Dio is a friendly, cheerful droid who has befriended BB-8. <laughs> Looks like a megaphone. 141, Radio. <laughs> Radio is loud and proud, often singing the latest hit in the galaxy. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. Oh yeah, this one perfectly translates into a Pokemon. Porg! 142. Porglet. Type water. Porglet likes swimming and often dives deep underwater to look for food. Aww. This one's definitely the cutest. I love it. 143. Porg. Type water flying. Okay. Porg can fly short distances, but not enough to leave their home island. <laughs> 144. Porgioto instead of Pidgeotto. Uh, type water flying. Poor Giotto has outstanding vision. However high it flies, it is able to distinguish the movements of its prey. <laughs> it looks like a cross between a pigeon and a walrus. Still somehow adorable, but also somewhat disturbing. Oh man, Jar Jar Binks. Poor Jar Jar. <laughs> 145, Jar Jar Stinks. Poor Jar Jar. Leave Jar Jar alone. Type water poison. A helpless blob, Jar Jar Stinks is covered in a thick, foul-smelling, poisonous goo. Everybody hates him. Aww, I don't hate Jar Jar. I love Jar Jar. Uh, 146, Jar Jar Binks, type water. An unusual Gungan, what Jar Jar lacks in brain cells, he makes up for in luck. <laughs> Likeable to some. Okay, everyone just stop hating on Jar Jar. It's been over 20 years. I'm at best head horrible depression because of the bullying afterward. So just get over it, move on, leave Jar Jar the heck alone already. Okay, now this is kind of funny. 147 Jar Jar Blings type fairy flying. Jar Jar Blings can now fly and sparkle in the sky like an angel. He is a joy to look at and everybody loves him. Okay, fine. He finally, he finally moves on. General Grievous? What the hey? All right, 148, Griefy, type dark. A spoilt brat who likes to pull pranks on his victims. Griefy once replaced a Jedi's lightsaber with a torch. I'm guessing with the spelling, this was written somewhere in Europe, probably in Britain, because um, in Britain they call a, fl a flashlight a torch. The Jedi was surprised before being killed by his opponent. That is dark. Gee whiz. 149. Grievous. Type dark. Grievous is known for his cruelty and ruthlessness. Able to wield four lightsabers at once makes him incredibly powerful. <laughs> That's cute. 150. Good grief. <laughs> Wielding a total of eight lightsabers at once, the people has given him the name of Good Grief because that's exactly what they say when they see him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, yay, Maz Kanata. 151, Mazi, type psychic. Mazi is a young pirate who likes to smuggle treasures. She looks like a character from the Dark Crystal right there. That's very cute. 152, Maz. A former pirate and smuggler, Moz is a friendly but strict, force-sensitive leader who enjoys art. <laughs> uh, 153. <Mosmerize>. or <laughs> Or Mosmerize or whatever. That's cute. Mosmerize has incredible force abilities, able to see the past, present, and future, future simultaneously. Oh man, she's got a third eye. <laughs> 11. Akbar. Here we go. 154. Aqua. Type water, of course. Aqua is a timid little creature who is always afraid of traps. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, that's cute. 155. Akbar. Type water, of course. Admiral Akbar likes to keep his mind sharp and his body flexible by regularly practicing car shock against simulated stormtroopers. 
Oh man, that's ridiculous. 156. Aquarius. Aquarius, I get it. Standing at 15 meters tall, Aquarius is extremely powerful and always aware of nearby traps. Oh man. They've even got a Jawa? Okay. 157. Jaw. <laughs> Type dark. All right. Jaw likes to hide in the dark and avoid danger, often closing their eyes to blend into the darkness. 158. Jawa. Type dark. Jawas like to move in packs, scavenging droids and scraps to sell to the local residents. Oh my gosh, that is the stuff of nightmares. Wow, wow, wee, wow. <laughs> when the Jawas group together, they can create the gigantic, powerful wow, wow, wee, wow. <laughs> Oh, they've got Jabba the Hutt, too. 160, Jabi. Type, ground, poison. Jabi loves to eat. His other hobbies include burning bugs and bullying weak creatures his age. 161, Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> ground, poison. Jabba the Hutt exemplifies lust, greed, and gluttony. Pretty much. He is a vile gangster who likes to torture and humiliate his subjects and enemies. 162, Hubba the Hot. <laughs> Type ground fighting. Ashamed of his previous life, Hubba, Hubba the Hot decided to turn his life around by being kind to people, giving his earnings to those in need, as well as staying fit. Oh my goodness. That is nuts. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Well, guys, there you have it. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more family-friendly Star Wars content, go ahead and click that little subscription button down below, and don't forget to check out the links in the description box. Question of the day, which of these Star Wars Pokemon do you think is the cutest, and why? Go ahead and post a comment. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing on Friday. I have no idea what I'm going to be able to do um, sword training. At this point, I've kind of given up on the on the idea because this, the person who said they were going to do sword training with me said, I'll call you and set up a time, and they never did. And it's been, I think, about a month now? Between three weeks and a month. So, yeah, it's just, bye! <laughs> And they don't respond that quickly when I message them on Facebook, so yeah, okay, we're just not going to be able to do any sword training. <laughs> That's not going to work. So, so much for that idea. Once again, Murphy's Law has ruled 2020. Darn it, Murphy. Anyway, so I will do my best to come up with something interesting for you on Friday. Meanwhile, uh, go ahead and check out uh, my other two channels, Clumsy Vlogs and Clumsy Jedi Reacts. My reaction channel is going to be getting a lot of stuff this week because I'm trying to catch up. I've got a lot of ideas that are backlogged and I really need to catch up on that. So I'm going to get to that as soon as I'm done with this one. So, until next time, God bless and may the Force be with you. You don't want to spread negativity. You want to subscribe and click notifications. <laughs>